Before I get into this video that I'm about to show y'all, this very pitiful video that I'm about to show y'all, I need y'all to take two breaths in and release. Just do two simple breathing exercises. Just breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And the reason why I had you do that is because you are going to have to calm your nerves before you witness one of the most buck dancing theatrics you will see all of 2023 so we are all aware of what's going on down there in tennessee with the two justins but we're going to be talking about this justin pearson right quick because i came across this video on twitter where of course he got reinstated into his position down at the house down there in tennessee i haven't really been following it like that but I kept hearing about it. But this right here has definitely solidified why Justin Pearson is entering the Bed Bucking Hall of Shame. Now, this video that I'm actually showing y'all has been recorded off of a TV screen. So you might have to listen to it with some earphones so you can actually really hear what he's being said. But the actions itself is just going to literally make you hang your head in shame. It's just going to make you turn into that shaking your head emoji or that one that's looking embarrassed and like, what the hell is going on? It is a mansion. Yes. People who have been ostracized. Yes. Coming to the well. Yes. And I see white folk and black folk. I see queer folk and straight folk. I see yes. rich folk and yes. poor folk. Yes. 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 clearly on the steps there in Shelby County, the Shelby County Commission that just again voted back Justin Pearson to the Tennessee State House. Again, he is the second person of the other expelled representative to be voted back into the State House. Justin Jones was voted back on Monday. Um, again, this is already meaning change. Okay, down so there. I'm going to let it play out with the, the volume off. I, listen, trust and believe me when I tell you this was a hard watch for me as it was for you. The performatives, the theatrics, the 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 dramatics of it all. This is like I, I, I don't know. Is he trying to win a Tony Award, a, 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 Go, a Golden Globe, an Emmy, an Oscar? Why did all of that need to happen? just because he was reinstated back into the house. They made it seem like this man just got out of jail after being locked up for multiple years for a crime in which he didn't commit. And even when that kind of thing happens, we don't see all this pomp and circumstance. Like he was doing absolute, like look at this, doing absolutely too much for no damn reason. And they got a person drumming in the back. Like what is this? This to my audience to my subscribers to the family that is watching new and returning this is the type of black person in particular black man they love to pedal out there in the forefront they don't want to hear from someone like me they don't want to hear some from someone like black alpha network beatzilla Kid gravity afro elite Tariq Nasheed, the black authority professor black truth harvey and the list goes on and on. They don't want to see us get out there and say what needs to be done or what we need. They want this performing, chucking, jiving BS that you are seeing on your screen right now. And I know this is probably enough to make you want to wish you could gouge your eyes out. But please don't do that. But this is absolutely pitiful, pathetic. And a host of other words that I can't even bring myself to think of right now in the English or any other language to describe this nonsense right here. 
And what's crazy is if we call this out, and I've already seen some of the comments, then they'll accuse us of saying of being too negative. Oh, he's just being excited. We didn't say he couldn't be excited to be reinstated into his position, but to do all this performative stuff is absolutely insane, especially since a couple days ago he wasn't even doing all of this. So where did this come from? Now it's making people question who is this guy? I think Afro Elite did a uh a stream. He either did a live stream or a premiere. It was one of the two. I can't remember where he was asking that same question. Like, who are these individuals? Where did they come from? But this is who they're going to continue to push out there as well. There was another video I saw somewhere where I think he was inside the building where he got reinstated. And that's where it all started. I don't know. I saw that video, but this one right here. Listen, we don't need to see the preview if this is what the outcome is. I mean, look at this. Like they up like he's up there sounding like um the pastor in coming to America. You know uh with Harsenio Hall's character when they was uh trying to collect money for the fundraiser where he had the uh the women in the bikinis standing up on the stage. That's what he sounded like and that's what it looks like they're doing and for what? It's crazy to me how all of this happened. Like, they literally treat this man like he had passed the taking his glasses off. I was waiting for them to pull out the James Brown cape. I was waiting for him to get down on one knee and start fainting on the stage. And for what? All of this before. And then if you listen to what he was saying in the beginning, and I'm going to have to turn the volume up because y'all may not have heard it. Listen to who he was mentioning. And I might have to pause in between so you can catch it because, again, the audio is not that good because it's being recorded from a tv screen but someone's recording it on their phone so listen i'm gonna try to catch everything that he everything that he highlighted white folks black people the academy uh heterosexuals and what was that last one he said hold on let me run that back I didn't hear that. I can't catch that last one. I think he said, I think the last one he said poor, and then it just kind of stops. For again, for what? Doing all of this for what? And now it's like I said, it's having people side eyeing them. It's actually at the point where I think a lot of black people are probably at this point just over it. Like, okay, you got your job back. What now? Because if you're not out here speaking on an agenda that's specifically for us, then what good are you? You got your 15 minutes of fame. Now go sit down. I know your feet got to be hurting from all that stomping you just did. You lucky. He's lucky he's not on one of those little platform stages that's kind of wobbly. Because that would have been a little bit of a catastrophe right there. And then, look, and then he got his, his buddies and his pals around him jumping up and down. I guess everybody needs their 15 minutes of fame and this was his. Uh, okay, y'all, I'm pretty much done.